Here are seven apps for your iPhone and iPad that we think you should check out. Starting off with a fantastic replacement for the music app. Soar not only lets users play music that's stored locally, any app can pretty much do that, but it's also one of the first apps that can actually search and play music from the Apple Music Catalog using the Music Kit API. The app has a robust homepage with a ton of curated suggestions to help you discover new music, but it's also customizable, so if you don't want any of that on your homepage, you can tailor it to your liking. The app also supports drag and drop functionality pretty much across the entire application. You can drag and drop to add to the queue, a playlist, like a song, etc. I also just think this app is really well designed, and while I do think Apple's own music app has been getting better and better, this app has a lot of beautiful design elements to it. Plus, there's a great widget available in iOS 14 that gives you a bit more information than just what song is currently playing. The app is available for a one-time purchase of $4.99, and that's a really good deal if you're a heavy Apple Music user who wants a bit more power than the current music app. The only thing that I wish this app had was an iPad companion. Next, we have our only other iPhone-specific app that's on the list, and that's Buddy Watch. If you own an Apple Watch and are sick of the current collection of watch faces, or you want to customize your watch face but you just need more inspiration, or you just want somebody to do that for you, there's actually a whole gallery of other watch faces to choose from and customize via Buddy Watch. There are tons of options available, like I said, and they can all be customized to your liking, but for me, I just like that I can find what other people have done and just kind of take that and set it and forget it. Once you download the watch face, you can tweak what you want inside of the watch app, and then again, just set it as your watch face and go about your day. That's it. It's pretty simple, but it's also very useful stuff. Speaking of customizing things, if you're wondering where I got these app icons on my iPhone or on my iPad, don't worry, I'll help you out. You can actually just grab the Moloco or Moloco, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but you can grab that app, it's linked in the description below, for both iOS and iPadOS, although it is technically an iPhone app running on iPadOS, but the functionality will work just fine. And the app will do all of the customization for you. Now we did an entire video about how you can customize icons yourself, but it's a really tedious process that requires you to manually replace each app's icon with a photo, and then you go ahead and add that as a bookmark. Now with this app, you actually just scroll through some of the icon packs that are available, find what you want, and install the profile on your device for both system apps and third-party apps if you want to cover as many applications as possible. Now, the app will just give you the icons for apps that they support, so it's going to give you a bunch of different apps that you might not even have installed on your phone or your iPad, which could be kind of annoying, but on your iPhone, you have the app drawer. It does update in the app drawer, so you can drag from there to your home screen no problems. But honestly, there are tons of great icon packs available and you can go ahead and install them pretty easily. Now, if you are skeptical about downloading a profile and adding that to your phone, I get it. And you can go ahead and watch our video on how we went and changed each icon ourselves, but it is a tedious process, so keep that in mind. TV Forecast is a great app to not only find new shows to watch, but also keep track of what you're currently watching. So if you're like me and you're watching a ton of different shows all around different platforms or whatever, you might not see when those shows will ramp back up and begin a new season. And so if you're juggling a ton of different series, it can get hard to keep track of what shows are coming back. So I like that TV Forecast keeps track of all of that information for you, as well as the progress in which you are watching that series, like how far along you are, uh, the cast information, who's starring, and you can actually go and see what other series they are uh, featured in so that you can kind of follow an actor or actress just in case you really like them. And honestly, I just like this app because I can keep track of those shows, but also there's a great widget in which I can see when new content is up and coming and when it's going to air so that I don't miss it. Craft is a new notes app that I actually just started to use and I use it to type up scripts like for this video or other long form notes. 
Now, I've tried a ton of different Notes apps over the years. I get bored and I move on to a different one. And I might do that with this one, who knows. But as of right now, this is what I'm currently using because I just like how simple and clean and fast it is, especially on the iPad. Now, it is a markdown style editor or a block style note taking app, meaning each section or block of text is movable and customizable. Or you could just keep things simple the way they are, like I do. It does a great job at portraying links as cards that can be adjusted in a few different formats as well. And again, I just think it's a really pretty, you know, cool looking notes app so far. I've been using the free version, which supports about a thousand blocks, or I think it's a thousand notes. And so far I haven't really seen the need to upgrade yet. If I do reach that a thousand blocks, then that must mean I really like this app and maybe I will think about paying the yearly subscription. But right now the free version is just fine for me. And oh, by the way, there's a great widget for your home screen that lets you see notes and what you're working on at a quick glance. Aviary is a Twitter app that's new to me. That's something I wanted to try over the standard Twitter app for my iPad. I just feel like Twitter on the iPad just has a ton of wasted space. And with Aviary, the app really takes advantage of your entire screen. You have a beautiful sidebar for all of your quick navigation needs, and then your Twitter feeds, your mentions, and even more details about the tweet that you're currently looking at are all listed in three columns or three sections. There's no distractions, and you can even customize some of those columns to fit your needs. And there are also some pretty great trending categories to choose from too. Now I might be in the minority, but one of the main reasons why it's hard for me to move on from the original Twitter app is because I like the explore icon or the explore page or Twitter moments, whatever they're calling it these days. I just think it's a really good way to find news that I want to keep up on and what's happening right now. But I suppose if I wanted to switch, taking advantage of this new app's uh, Twitter experience with a chronological timeline that's ad-free is a really good way to start. Also, Aviary is a one-time purchase of $3.99 that's available on all devices, meaning if you buy it for one time on your iPad, you'll also get that app for your iPhone, Mac OS, uh, and even your watch too. And lastly, we have a pretty cool iOS slash iPadOS game from the creators of Exploding Kittens called Kitty Letter. Kitty Letter is a competitive word battling game. Yes, you heard me correctly, a competitive word battling game in which you unscramble words and those words become armies to attack your opponents with. You can play with friends or strangers, or you can even play by yourself in a single player campaign. Now, what I like most is that there's no collecting cards or coins or anything that you need to buy in order to make the game better from a competitive standpoint. It's all fair and you just play the game. It's a pretty fun experience so far and I recommend checking this game out or really any of the apps that we featured in this video down in the description below. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite apps on either iPhone or iPad uh, that you want me to check out maybe for the next video down in those comments. And before we end today's video, I want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. One product that really caught my attention recently is the new Envoy Pro Electron SSD. This is OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C powered drive that the company offers, and yeah, it's super fast. This drive boasts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, giving users up to 1,011 megabytes per second. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. This is the perfect new SSD for those who are worried about being on the go and potentially something happening to your SSD because it's so rugged. Uh, the build quality is excellent and it's extremely durable. So for more information about this new Envoy Pro, Electron, or anything else OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.